music is medicine and we can access that medicine so simplistically and revive them. I'm Carol Rosenstein. I am the founder and the executive director. Music Men's Minds brings music to seniors and caregivers and families globally. And that's what I do all day, connecting dots, connecting humans, connecting countries, so that uh, we can indeed show and work with the power of music changing brain chemistry. And of course, this cycles me back to the very start where my darling husband with Parkinson's and dementia, I could see him sitting playing at our piano when he was low. And after about 10 or 15 minutes, I would see him re-engage in his environment, start to be able to converse with me, drop that low, low affect, as if I'd just given him a dose of medication. And Dr. Bronstein, our neurologist, would tell me, Carol, you're watching the power of music changing brain chemistry. I said, does that mean then that I can find some like-minded souls who are in a similar situation to come and jam and make music together and all light up like a Christmas tree? He said, why not? And I made several calls, found a place for a rehearsal in a local private school in a beautiful music studio, set a date, set a time, got munchies. 30 people arrived, all strangers. Within 15 minutes, four souls from the 30 gravitated to the Steinway piano, to a drum kit contiguous to the piano, my Irwin grabbed a saxophone. Sam pulled open his breast pocket. Out came a harmonica. And within 15 minutes, they were bonded as brothers playing music together. The rest is history. We see miracles before our eyes. I'm talking, for example, about people who are aphasic. They don't speak anymore, but they can sing. And after this period of being engaged in music making, they'll start to talk. Music Men's Minds Fifth Dementia Band, which was our flagship band. And we saw that carryover with the reports coming from family members to say that grandpa or dad or my husband was re-engaged after the rehearsal. What happened? We have music storage cells in our brains that retain music memory. And these cells, different from the contiguous dying cells, these music storage cells never die. The key is if you played a musical instrument, you'll never lose that facility. Well, of course, you're gonna need to get rid of a lot of rust, but to just pick around on a guitar or on a ukulele, comes back and that's where we allow them to practice as part of a musical setting and then they're inspired to go home and practice and what I see with our people yes they go to the American songbook mostly because those are where we get a lot of our melodies from that we never forget but if we dropped in a new genre a Beatles melody so let's change up the tempo for a concert. We would play the music and before you knew it, they were on their bicycles, singing the music, learning new music with brains that were severely under disease deterioration. So we can show that yes, even in the presence of the dementias, the Alzheimer's and the Parkinson's, it is possible to learn new music. I've seen it many times. Life is so impermanent. None of us is here for longer than is destined. And so consequently, we infuse our people that this is the moment to grab. Make it good. 
because it's all we got. Every three seconds, somebody is being diagnosed with dementia. Every 65 seconds, somebody is getting an Alzheimer diagnosis. We are in a pandemic of neurodegenerative diseases bound for disaster if it weren't for the music.